Pretty sure it's a data raid. Question, what's the best sport for weight loss? The best sport for weight loss is the one you enjoy doing the most year in, day in, day out for eternity. That's the best one because you've been doing it the most. You've been doing it the most. Now, if, you had a, if I had to do a graph though, on paper, you know, what is the best sport for weight loss? Taking aside any other emotional or where you live or whatever, financial things, what is the best sport? The, the best sport for weight loss is cycling. There's nothing comes close. There's nothing comes close. I recently did a video about yoga, saying yoga is a waste of time for weight loss. And it is, but it isn't. You know, it's better than nothing. But on paper, if you had to show me during my what's you know, what's the graph? Like what's the number one? Cycling. Yoga would be like cycling would be up here and yoga would be actually under the out of the screen. <laughs> Yoga's good, but it's not does fuck all for weight loss compared to cycling. But if you don't like cycling and you like you don't like everything else next to that, yeah here. See that down on the screen? That's it's better than nothing. But if you're one of the best, you go up here. Because all that running. Running shit for weight loss. I did a 12k run on Saturday. I did a 2k warm up, a 5k race, and then a 5k tempo run afterwards. 12 kilometers. Less than an hour of running. My calves are still sore today. Yesterday, I burnt 8,500 calories on my bicycle. I'm not even really sore. I'm, my back's a little bit stiff, but I could go out riding in today, but I'm still sore on my legs from Saturday. I burnt 500 calories on Saturday from running, and I'm still sore. Yesterday I burnt 8,500 calories from the cycling up, up and down the mountains here, and I'm not even really sore. I've got a bit of stiffness, but I wouldn't call it soreness. I could still go out and train today. So that's what I'm saying. It's about, try and burn 8,500 calories from a yoga class. <laughs> you'll be like, you'll shear your Achilles tendon off the bone. Try and burn 8,500 8, calories from, from surfing. Your shoulders will be popped. You, you just won't be able to do it. You will not be able to do it. It'll take you like four days or more. But if you like surfing, if you like yoga, if you like playing golf, it's still better than nothing. It's still better than nothing. So if you're sitting on the couch, anything's going to be better for you. But cycling, there's no sport on the planet that burns as many calories as cycling. People go, what about cross-country skiing? You can't fucking cross-country ski to work. And if you can, that's maybe like a few once a year or whatever. But that's not practical for people living in China or Australia or Florida, is it? So when I'm, when I'm talking about cycling, I'm talking something that's about practical for most people. Even if you're a wheelchair athlete. I've got a, a cycling buddy, Grant Allen. He's in his fucking hand bike, man. He cranks it. He's fit as fuck. He is fitter than most people, man. He's fucking fit. So, and that's just hand cycling. It's just that pumping the blood, man. Pumping the blood. Cycling is the best. Nothing comes close. Nothing fucking comes close to cycling. But, like I said, I'll say it again. If you don't like it, then it's not going to work. Because you'll do it for a day like this, like this. So that's why we try and educate people on the benefits of cycling. How to select a bike. It's in my book, Hub the Fuck Up. I've got a big chapter about cycling tips in there. I've got plenty of videos about it. It's on our forum. You know, so I've got plenty of information out there. Freely is a good example. Freely, first bicycle she got was when she was age 27. She would do yoga for weight loss, weights for weight loss, a bit of jogging for weight loss. Never really got the results she wanted. And then she got into cycling. She got into cycling. And it's just like, whoosh, calories burnt. The metabolism changed forever. Because cycling does that. It's low impact. Unless you're smacking the back of a tree. You know, but it's just low impact. It's so good for calorie burn. It's so good for building metabolic health, metabolic function. So nothing comes close to cycling. Yoga's great. Surfing's great. Golf's great. Dancing's great. You know, parkour's good. But nothing touches cycling.